So my favourite brake calipers, uh, relatively successful, I'll talk you through it. So, I found another pair, found another pair of the Racing Puma rear calipers in some of my kit. So, instead of three sets, I've actually stripped down four. So, this one's completely torn down, other than this section here. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera, but in the bottom of there is a circlip. Yeah, you can probably just see it there, actually. So, I need a long nose pliers with a circuit clip bit on the end to remove that. And that is the same for all of the sets. So before I get them sent off, shot blasted and powder coated. By the way, the the RAL colour I found out I checked is RAL 5002. And that's the colour I had these done. They look a bit lighter on camera than they do in real life, but that's going to be the same colour all of these sets are going to be. Um, there was two little issues. This one rounded off that was from previously so i'll have to get that out at some point and standard procedure when playing with calipers is a bleed nipple snap so rather frustrating and that was in one of these here so it's a little something to sort but once i get this tool to remove as i said that clip this part will slide out and give it a clean up and this should be able to be reused so yeah so I'm pretty happy with that, which I've managed to do this evening. These natural pistons, all of the pistons look to be in good order. They're just a bit messy on the top there, so I'll put the camera on it so you can see. I might get them just a shot blast that top section there, if they can without getting it anywhere else. But if they can't, no worries, and clean them up a bit. Uh, and then all the other bits with the handbrake cable tightens. Uh, I've also ordered a new seal kit for one of the sets. Not a seal kit, a new uh, slider kit, which is these ones here. Uh, what I might do is also order a full uh, seal kit as well. I have got some spare pads that came with it, which is great. I'd, uh, God knows what Amiga like. I'll have a look at them, but I'm, I don't think they're going to be overly great. But that's all right. They're on the rear, and they'll do for now. So, uh, yeah, pretty successful, successful evening. I'm going to... Um, I've emailed the company who did the last powder coating, all of this stuff, and seeing if he's got a row blue in. If not, I'll have to send it somewhere else, but... Yeah, get them shot blasted and get them cleaned up. They'll look great and order in the, uh, the kit. Yeah, and the last thing really to mention is make sure you clean your tools and put them away. We've said this before, but there you go. That's it. I think I'm going to love you. Oh, one thing to mention is that I haven't actually worked in the garage really at night or when it's been darker with the lighting. I have to say it's fantastic. I'm not too... <laughs> This is not great, the uh, wallpaper paper table, but I will be using that a bit more, but it'll do for now, and it's just an extra surface for me to work on. But yeah, certainly enjoying being back in the garage. Uh, sorry it's been so long that I haven't put a video up, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, what I might do is tag some more on the end of this upload as well for you. Let's see if we can get start cleaning that engine tomorrow. But that's it for now, catch you later. Done a little ferret in the garage. I've got a bit of time. I'm going to uh, found these in the um, cupboard. So I'm just going to put a bit of light remorse on them. They look in really good order, absolutely solid. So I won't bother replacing these. Um, I think they're steering room, steering rack bushes. So let's get that paint off, clean them up a bit. that done leave that to soak come and peel them off hopefully it won't take too long uh, another thing i'm going to do so yeah i'm going to get put these discs in this oil pan in the deox stuff i think i mentioned it in a previous video it does work really well uh 10 weeks ago before I stopped doing all this. So I put the rear discs in, which are actually off a Focus and ST170, because they're slightly larger than the normal Racing Puma one. And I put them in here, and it did strip all the rust off really well. Let's see if I can uh, pull this one out and show you. No, you can't quite see. Anyway, I'm gonna um, clean these off and uh, set up a new, new one, and just do one disc at a time, clean them up, 
And once they're like brand new, put some oil on them. Oh, there's a WD-40 to stop them rusting again. So uh, that'll be four other items done. I'll give these a quick rinse now so you can see, and hopefully you can see the difference between the two of them. So you can see the one I left in there, I left it in there too long, it's got some reaction on the surface where it's gone green, so I'll just put it back in there for one. But as you can see, the difference between that one and that one. So all I've got to do is put, perhaps I'll clean some of the dirt off on this one. Just bear with me. Right, Majority wiped off that. In it goes. Some of the good stuff. Leave that for 24 hours and hopefully it'll be like new. Ended up just using the blade and scratching the majority off. It did work pretty well, the Niger Moss, but it was just easier to scratch the other bits off. So, uh, yeah, two basically new bushes. They've got an R stamp on them. I don't know what company that's from, uh, but they've cleaned up pretty well. Uh, other thing to mention, I don't think I've previously mentioned, I got a new set of genuine Ford bushes. Do you know what? Embarrassingly, I can't even tell you what they were off. Is that the steering rack, perhaps? And that was the lower arms. I'm not sure. But anyway, there you go. There's another set. All done, ready to go on. So I contacted the company that uh, has done my other powder coating uh, with regard to the RAL 5002 colour. They've come back to me and said, yes, they can do that colour for me. So uh, the four sets of calipers that we mentioned yesterday and earlier on in this video. Uh, he's come back to me with a price of around uh, about £100 for all four sets. So that's, uh, I thought that was a really good price. What I'm gonna do as well is I've got a set of, um, yeah, my 172 cup car, or track car even. Um, I thought I've got, well, basically I've got some spare front brakes. I'll take them out in a second and I'm going to strip them down and I'm going to get them painted yellow and that's to match uh, the other parts on the car. So as I'm doing a few bits and bobs, I may as well get as much done as possible. So, uh, and if I don't get these fitted, if I don't get those calipers fitted on my clear anytime soon, I can sell them and again, hopefully make a bit of money off them. So uh, what you'll see me do now is strip these down further, make sure that they're, excuse me, ready for shop blast and powder coating. And that'll be a fifth set of calipers that I'll take with me later this week. So after getting these out and quickly having a look at them, I've had previously stripped them down, as you can see. Not only that, uh, I've actually prepared them for shop blasting and powder coat by putting some plasticine in there to stop uh, any of the shot getting into the important parts of the caliper. So yeah, that's, is that the front? Yeah, that's the hanger and then the sliders on there. Yeah, so uh, all of those will be powder coated yellow as I, as I just mentioned. So I'll add them to the pack. I'm also gonna go through 
these drawers quickly, see what else is in there, see if there's anything else that I need powder coating. Um, I really need to continue to strip the supercharger. I think it's because it's just a pain in one of the pain in the ass in one of those jobs. It's I'm not getting around to it. What I might do though is put some more nitro moss on it and leave that on and see if it can lift, lift a bit more. So uh, yeah, let's put you back down for a second and uh, see what else I can have a tweak with. found this is the front braided line off a racing puma obviously this this is shot but this is the bracket that holds it in position now i don't think you can get these anymore and i happened to when i last had the last load shop last and powder coated i had one side done in silver so i've just found this one so i've removed that one and i'll add this to the uh, bits and pieces to go for powder coating it's always worth checking these things out. The other thing to notice, uh, mention, this... Oh. Sorry, phone went funny then. This is the pistons and stuff for the 172 cup calipers. And so I could probably clean those up and they'll be fine to reuse. And I also have got some braided lines at the rear, which I didn't know I have. So when it comes to refitting the, re, uh, the other refurbished calipers, on the uh, on the front, I can fit the uh, breaded lines on the rear as well. I think it's a bit of a pain in the ass of a job to do, which is why I probably didn't do it the first time. So, uh, whenever I get the clear out, I start doing some work on it. Uh, I know I'll have these this set of calipers ready to put back on and rebuild. I think all these seals and that were fine as well, so we will get away with reusing them. Right, let's see what else we can find in there. Right, that's uh, that and all. Oh, I forgot to mention, these are the bolts that hold the spacers in to the rear beam. I mentioned a number of times, 10.9 grade, and they're from Ford. If anybody wants the part number, just let me know and I can get that for you. Um, what else was I doing? Yeah, just clean that up, Maybe freshen it up. Binned a few bits and bobs that were in it that were no longer needed. That's working its magic. Uh, my friend's just dropped his drill round, so the next thing to do is attack these and get these removed. And hopefully, if I can get them removed, I can fit the uh, new upgraded ones that are here. So uh, yeah, I'll put it on time lapse. Let's see if we can drill this. Let's see if we can drill this out. Uh, flip flops when working in the garage I just dropped I stood here and I just dropped the beam the whole beam on my toe and wow I was hopping around the garage like a complete tit for the last 10 minutes oh. fortunately I didn't get it on camera but there we go let's put this back on
So, fast forward 24 hours. I think I did enough pissing in the wind yesterday trying to uh, sort out getting these bushings out. So, um, I'm trying to use all the tools that I could. I managed to drill out the rubberized section, as you saw in the last video. But then, on the standard, you'll see that there's a metal ring as well, which is absolutely ridiculous. So what I'm gonna do, I've popped out at lunchtime today and picked up a brand new hack saw. So um, no more messing about. Let's get this cut. Uh, let's get them pushed out and let's put the uh, new bearings in. see that hell of a lot easier when you've got the right tools but there we go finally after many fucks and a seriously damaged toe one of them's replaced so i'm going to drill a few holes in that one over there now slide the hacksaw blade in cut it knock out with the hammer and replace that one so i'll put you on time lapse again state of that none of it's so difficult to get out i didn't quite hacks all the way through which was why i was having the issues but eventually i got there anyway let's put the uh new one in thank god that's over Okay, that's this done. Put the mounts on. The new bolts that I mentioned that I previously found. Hey Siri, stop. Bushes in, that was an absolute nightmare. I remember doing it the first time around. It was a it was a joke and this time it wasn't much much more enjoyable. But yeah, there we go, rear beam. Uh, rear beam complete. Another job ticked off the list. I found the brackets that these went, they were just in the drawer. Obviously, they may mount to the lower sub right frame, the front sub frame. So, we'll have to figure all that soon. Still haven't heard a lot back off Alex with regard to the uh, all the nuts and bolts being plated. But I'm keen to get them back now because obviously I can start putting the, the front right together. Another thing to mention is I've just got some brand new wiper blades, Bosch ones, for my racing Puma, the blue one. Oh, and they're uh, pretty rare now, an original. Aerial for the racing Puma. So it's original because it hasn't got the little twisted wire up that goes along here. So, uh, yeah, that was a good purchase. It was only a few pounds, so that's good to replace. Other than that, yeah, I still haven't done the hubs. I'll see if I can drop them off somewhere tomorrow morning. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I think that's going to be it for, uh, for this for tonight. So, tonight's Wednesday. I don't think I'll be doing any content tomorrow evening. 
And if I do, I'll uh, tap it onto the end of this video. But if not, thanks again for watching. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Um, yeah, I'm glad to be back. Let's uh, let's keep pushing forward with this. I'll catch you all soon. In fact, before we go, let's just have a look, see how this is getting on. It's been 24 hours. Well, there you go. Look at that. Absolutely spot on. I'm going to take that out now and give it a wipe down. Let's put it there so you can see it a little bit better. Right. Perfect. Right. Um, I was going to put that one in there, but let's stick one of these in. Let's stick this one in. See what results we get with that. Right, give that 24 hours and we'll come. There you go, look at that. time quite how well that works now i heard of one of the other camera owners and what you can do to stop them rusting and which i've done previously is mask off and paint this silver which i might do uh, but for now the best thing to do is put vaseline on it and you put vaseline on it and it'll stop it going there uh, getting surface rust on it again I am coming. Tea is ready. There you go. Take a look at that. 